Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Before we start the video though, please hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification button so that way you get notified of every new video we make. Today's video, we're gonna talk about best Arch Linux distributions that aren't actually Arch, the forks of Arch, okay? And the reasons why they, they're on the list. Now, there's no numbering, like no one is one over you know, one's number two or no ranking like that. They're just all equally good. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. All right. So the very first one that we're going to take a look at is Endeavor OS. Now, Endeavor OS used to be the rage in the beginning. And when it came around, it was because it was customized so well. It's known for its customized XFCE desktop environment. And it has many many desktop environments that that you can choose from from kde to gnome well it, well let's let's clear that up kde did not used to be one that was that it had in at all but in its new recent releases galileo they are getting rid of the xfce desktop environment and they're actually implementing their kde environment now the KXFCE environment was one that was very heavily customized and looking very beautiful. So it's going to be interesting what they do with KDE. Now, they've always had the plasma vanilla, but, you know, now they're, I think they're theming it and customizing it. They, they have GNOME edition. They have the Mate edition, Cinnamon edition, LXQT, LXDE, and they even have an i3 version and a budgie desktop. Then they have a few community spins, which are Worm, Sway, Qtile, BSPWM, and Openbox. Now, what really also kind of made Arco Linux very nice is that they have an offline and an online installer. The online installer is done by uh, Calamaris. Offline is Calamaris as well. But what really made set them apart early on in the days is they generated their own like welcome tool that had, you know, things in it that you could do to actually run the system quite well and install what you needed to install right there from the get go. It also, Endeavor uses the Pac-Man package manager, as with all Arch distributions only, what makes it also kind of different is it does not natively have a GUI package manager and they don't intend to put one in. They want you to use the terminal to use either Pac-Man or Yay. So that's a little bit thing that makes it kind of unique these days as well, is it's staying true to the old, you know, kind of Arch thing, you know, use command line at nauseum and do what you got to do for any of the you know, customizations you want to make. So that is a look at Endeavor OS. Next, we're going to take a look at Garuda Linux. That's right, Garuda Linux. Now, Garuda Linux is a fork of Linux that pretty much so is, it's gorgeous. It really is. It's one of the top two out there, I think, that are gorgeous that are not Hyperland. Well, you can get Hyperland on it as well. And that's the thing. It, uh, it has BTRFS's default file system with the Z ZSTD compression. It uses the Pac-Man package manager. And also, you can it, it comes with Pamac, which is the GUI file manager from Manjaro. Manjaro's not on the list because I know a lot of people are going to question what Manjaro. Well, Manjaro's not on the list because everybody knows about Manjaro. Everybody knows about Garuda and everybody knows about you know, Endeavor OS, but Manjaro is pretty much so the first Arch Linux distribution. I think everybody tries right out the bat, you know, when they're start first do a search for, you know, Arch Linux distributions. So anyhow, it also has a chaotic AUR repository with a huge selection of binaries in it that is, is there for when you use your, your AUR helper, like, um, yay or Peru. And it's very privacy friendly with Fire Dragon, which is a fork of uh, Firefox that they created for their own self. I mean, they've they've taken the time to customize a lot of it. Now, as far as the the flavors that come in it, there are a ton. There is the KDE Dragonized, and then the regular G Dragonized Gaming Edition. There's a regular Dragonized Edition, and then the Gaming Edition as well. Then they've got the Gnome edition they have the cinnamon edition they have the xfce edition which i've actually flown all of them and they're all pretty nice and then they have the sway edition for the wayland compositor or window manager and then they have the regular i3 edition as well they have the qtile edition and they have the l uh, the lx kde light edition as well and then for advanced users, and it's listed literally that way on their desktop, is the Garuda Hyperland 
edition and then they have i believe no they don't sorry i thought they had like a, a, a river edition but they don't they i think it was just always sway and hyperland so either way katie ear um garuda has a very sexy theme look and feel it's very heavily customized it has all the tools that you need it has a lot that it installs when you install it and so in essence i can only tell you that you know kate it's one of those that either you like it or you don't like it for me what i wound up doing is i wound up taking and stripping it down from a lot of the stuff that was in it and you know trying to fly it with it as minimal i did do the gnome edition i did the sway edition i did the hyperland edition i did the i3 edition and also the no i didn't do the kde one yeah, those are the ones that I did, and they were all okay. I mean, it's it's Arch Linux at its core, just already set up for you out of the box, and that's what I'm reviewing here in these distros that I'm talking about. For me, it's the right out of the box experience set up for you as a you know either newer to Linux user or one who's migrating over to Linux that you might find these additions that I'm talking about make Arch semi user friendly. They're never truly user friendly because they are Arch based so you're gonna have issues you're gonna have little bugaboos but these are pretty much so semi user friendly the two most user friendly ones out of these that i think are garuda linux and manjaro but i didn't list manjaro on here so either way there's a notable mention for manjaro on that now moving on to the next one we're going to take a look at zero linux that's right zero linux pretty much so is the other one that is the most customized arch derivative out there now zero linux is one of those distributions that is heavily customized it currently comes in the kde variant the gnome variant and the xfce variant the gnome and the xfce ones uh, will be build it your own isos soon and the xfce or the the kde one will be downloadable on their web page now the Features of it is they, Steve, the, 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 the maintainer has quite painstakingly taken tons of time to make sure that it runs fast due to many, many fixes under the hood and tweaks. It's actually pretty stunning to look at. It really is. It, the, the GNOME edition is gorgeous. The XFCE edition is quite gorgeous as well. And, you know, it, it's themed to the max. It, he has paid attention to every little detail in every little nook and cranny of theming uh, to an obsessive point, if, if I'm being honest. But nonetheless, you know, a lot of painstaking time has been dedicated to Zero Linux to make it as beautiful as it is. You can download the ISOs. You can pop over to zerolinux.xyz over there, download it from over there. Also, he is got a little merch store over there and he's got a forum over there and one of the things that zero linux does greater than most of your other distributions is in the discords and in the forum of his web page whenever there is an issue with kde or grub or whatever he's usually all over it posting what the issue is and what the fix is right away so there's no guesswork having to be done so that actually makes it semi user friendly but it's not user friendly don't make that mistake because there is no holding of your hand on it in in the sense of you know asking steve a million questions on stuff that you should know you should know how to use a terminal you should know how to do general troubleshooting of linux distributions before you use this you have the aur available to you and you also have flat packs as well as pac-man available to you it has top grade built into it which is a like a terminal user interface to it's a tui updater which works beautifully and it's and it's awesome there's lots of little tweaks done to it that'll make you have a very positive experience with it or when they break a very miserable one but as with any linux distribution not specific to zero linux but either way go have a good time with it and test it out tell me what you think the next is going to be the granddaddy of them all nobody can beat the sheer knowledge base community size or the developer's commitment to teaching arch linux to anybody and it's going to be arcolinux.com if you're going to start with any linux distribution that is arch based after you've played with ones that make it easy to install but you want to expand your knowledge a little bit i would suggest you start your knowledge learning path over at arco linux 
it will Eric Dubois is absolutely fantastic about all that he does with Arch Linux and teaching. He puts up almost like two or three videos a day on different things on how to do the latest and greatest things with Arch Linux. So if you really have a learning desire and the time to break, re-break, refix, break, re-break again, fix, and you know, learn as you go, truly, truly learn Arch Linux and actually Linux fundamentally as a core, then yeah. I strongly suggest you go to hit Arch Ar Arco Linux up, you know, and 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 take his his path over there. Start with whichever distro is highly recommended. I actually use Arco Linux as a daily driver. I'm using the Arco Linux B, the i3 window manager, at the moment, and I've been using that now, and I keep going back to it for years, actually. So that's the one, and that, that and I'm not saying this in any way, shape, or form about these this distribution in order to actually you know because i'm a fanboy of it i'm actually saying because legitimately and i don't think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody in the community that won't tell you that his learning path to learning how to use arco linux and arch linux bar none is the best so if anybody wants to say that there's something better they're they're cracked in my opinion honest to god so either way that is a look at the arch linux distributions that are not vanilla arch that are the best to start with that have a lot to offer under the hood for you guys tell me what you think down below tell me what you think down below leave a comment say hey you know i agree with what you're saying i want to you know you know give it a try but i've had these issues or i found this and this fixed it or whatever you know just in, engage please i i encourage i'm always answering the questions or the comments uh liking them for sure either way you guys keep doing what you do Keep on Linux and stay blessed, stay happy, and above all, I will see you in the very next one.